have personally known Senator Klobuchar since the days when Senator Klobuchar was the Hennepin County attorney. So I know that Senator Klobuchar is well aware of the impact of this disability in our systems, and that's how I got involved uh, as First Lady. And as Senator, she's always been supportive of our efforts in Minnesota. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, uh, and it's my great pleasure to introduce the senior senator from the great state of Minnesota, <laughs> Senator Amy Klobuchar. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Uh, you picked uh, quite a time in Washington to have your dinner. Nothing is going on at all. It's all fine. Uh, but it is a, uh, it's a moment like no other. But I wanted to be here anyway because this is uh, such an important uh, cause and such great work. I want to thank Susan. Uh, you know, her husband, Arnie Carlson, was a Republican governor, but these were the days uh, when we all worked together on things all the time. And uh, she was a, a great uh, judicial officer and has been such a leader on this in our state where we've had a lot of issues with uh, fetal alcohol syndrome. Um, and then also I wanted to thank Kate, uh, your board chair, and Tom, uh, who greeted me out there. Um, and thank you so much uh, for having me. Um, so I have been around the country, I don't know why, but I have a lot in a lot of places. As I say, I can see Iowa from my porch. Um, and it's good. It's been a long day, a long day. And um, I actually have been, really the thing that has most surprised me is how much, um, as Susan mentioned, that people have come up about addiction issues and about alcoholism issues, and sometimes about, um, about fetal alcoholism issues. Um, but it is just astounding, um, and you feel like we've been through this and we should know what to do, uh, but not enough has been done. And that's why actually I came out um, as the first candidate in that race with um, a big plan when it comes to addiction um, and to mental health that also includes FASD. Uh, because, and I'm not going to uh, do anything uh, politically here, but because, you know, you're in Washington, so why would I? But um, I, I just think that more and more people have to be out telling their personal stories. And, you know, Susan alluded to uh, my story, my dad, who had three DWIs by the time I got uh, married. And at that point, he had to choose between treatment or jail. And he chose treatment. And in his words, he was pursued by grace. And it really uh, changes his whole life. And he ended up then uh, getting married again, and he ended up um, being retirement and had a good time. He's now 91, and the AA group still visits him in the assisted living. Uh, and, and in his words, it's hard to get a drink around here anyway. <laughs> but um, so uh, that has been part of my life. And as I've said um, out there, I just think everyone has that right to be pursued by grace. And in the case, of course, of FASD, um, these little babies have the right um, to ha do everything we can to protect them, uh, not just in how we treat them um, when they're born and when they grow up, but also to try to not have this happen in the first place. Uh, and this means um, serious discussions and education all across our country. And I was really honored uh, to um, uh, team up with Lisa Murkowski. We've actually uh, done a lot together. Um, we both have names that score really high in Scrabble, so that's brought us together in the Senate. There's a lot of shorter names in the Senate, you know, but you can't, can't go wrong with Murkowski and Klobuchar, right, for like bringing the thing. And we both have states with a lot of tribes and tribal members um, who've been a hit hard um, with the syndrome. Um, and she's also just a wonderful person. I hope you saw that. Um, she is, uh, when, we, when I visited Alaska, uh, we got to go to their house and um, her husband's a chef and um, incredible person as well. Um, but she gave me one Christmas, she gave me a 
blown up picture of myself. It was like a fake news thing with the headline of our paper, but I was holding a fish she had caught that you could never catch in Minnesota, <laughs> like this huge fish, claiming that I had caught this fish in the news, and I actually have it up on my wall in my office um, for fun, but also as a memory of how wonderful she is. So I think with the two of us together, uh, we're a pretty strong pair, and um, I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to finally get this bill done because it is so important. I saw this back when I was county attorney with the cases that would come in the office of um, people um, who through no fault of their own had FASD and um, it changed their lives forever. Um, and then of course we had cases of pregnant moms and what are you gonna do about it and how we handle it. Um, and so that's why this legislation um, would build on the work that's already happening with the Department of Health and Human Services uh, direct the federal departments to establish um, special education training initiatives and really put some federal force behind your work, uh, which is so important. And um, I guess I'll just end with one story. Susan's heard the story, but you haven't, so there you go. Um, but it's just about your work and what you're doing for a cause that isn't always the easiest cause to take on because some of these causes, you know, you get big blue ribbons and uh, you go to big openings of things and, um, and museums and things, but this is something I think that is uh, much more quiet and much more fragile um, and much more in, in many ways uh, important. And, um, but this story was actually my daughter when she was about four, she was in our church nativity play and she was to play the angel and she was sitting out with me in the pew at the practice and she wouldn't go out there. She's sitting there with these gigantic angel wings. And I said, why won't you go out there? And she says, because I want to be the donkey. And I said, well, these two older boys, Timmy and Joey, were in this donkey outfit. I'm like, no, they are the donkey. You can't be the donkey. Well, then I want to be Mary. And I go, no, Mary is like 14 years old. You are four, and you are not going to be Mary in this play. I said, I don't understand this. Why you don't want to go out there? You have the coolest part. You get to go out at the end and spread your wings. And so then she looks up at the very top of the church, and she says, Mom, I don't know how to tell them. I don't know how to fly. <laughs> and I said to her that day, you know what? Not all angels fly. And you are truly the guardian angels uh, for these families, for these children. Uh, and many of them may never know who you are. Um, they will never know maybe Susan Carlson's name, but you are giving them the wings to fly and the hope uh, that we can have uh, better handling of this and we can prevent uh, more children uh, from being born this way. And if they are born this way, that we'll figure out a better way to handle it. So I just want to thank you for being those guardian angels and for the work you do. Thank you so much. And I'm honored to have this award. So very nice, very beautiful. Thank you. And now I can go back and go on TV and talk about impeachment. But this will, this will, this will get me, this will get me through the day. It will get me through. So thank you, everybody.